What's up with y'all? Y'all know who it is and what it is. It's your boy JP and I want to come to y'all with another how-to. I have had some, while well, I try to get my little camera set up here, I've had some people comment and ask, uh, how do you tap into wires? And that's basically mean if you have your factory wiring in, how do you split the wire without breaking it uh how do i tap into it all that type of stuff and i'm gonna go over a couple different ways that you can do it right now so uh the number one way that i use that i that one the one number one tool that i use are these type of wire strippers because you can come down and it's going to strip the wire like that it is very easy so what happens is is let's just say we're in the car and my wire is like this, right? My wire's like that and I wanna tap into it. I will take my wire strippers, I usually have them upside down just depending on how, wherever I'm at. And these are kinda of old, let me tighten them up a little bit. Boom, it'll break the wire right there. And that gives me just enough to where I can take another wire wrap it around, I can tape it up, I can solder it at this point. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and get our wire. Let's just say this is the, <clears throat> that's the wire that we had to tap into. Then I can take my wire inside the vehicle and I can, can you guys see that pretty good? Where I'm at right here, twist my wire around it. And at this point, we have a good wire-to-wire -wire connection. Now, uh, some people can, uh, I guess different ways you can insulate this. Uh, first, best way is to solder it using our soldering iron and some solder, lead-free solder. So uh, <clears throat> you can solder this connection. Once you solder this, you can just electrical tape it and be done. Uh, if you want to just electrical tape it, then what I advise is that you electrical tape and throw a zip tie on it. So what we'll do is we'll grab our electrical, electrical tape now this video is going to be kind of long, so this is definitely one of those in-depth kind of how-to type deals. But yeah, we'll take our electrical tape and we'll put it around there. And this is what I would do if I'm not going to solder it. And then I'll take me a zip tie, a zip tie, wire tie, whatever you want to call it. And I will zip tie right there on that connection. Real, real tight. Always flush cut your zip ties, because we're not Neanderthals, we're professionals. So, and that's that connection. And that's just as good as, now honestly, man, solder is gonna be the best connection that you can get. But um, if you just, let's say you don't have a soldering iron, but you got electrical tape and zip ties, then boom, uh, that's a good connection. Now let's say you don't have electrical, um, you don't have zip ties, all you have is electrical tape. Then what we can do is a military splice. So what a military splice is, is the same thing take our uh, wire strippers we break our wire and I'm gonna hit it one more time just to get a little bit more length and then I'm gonna take something with a point like a like my pick tool here and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna poke me a hole Let's see if I can get a little closer I'm gonna poke a hole in the wire right so that's gonna give me that hole right there then what I can do is I can take my wire and then I'll, I'll just spin it like this. And then I'll stick this through the hole. And then I'll start to twist it around. This is going to be that same wire-wire connection that we just did, but it gives it more of like a braided type feel. That way, if we didn't have solder and we didn't have a zip tie and I want to just use electrical tape with this, it's going to be very unlikely that this thing is gonna like kind of pull apart uh, unless you use like some really hard pressure. And then, then again, even if you did solder it, there's a good chance that you can break your wire. But at the same time, that is the mili military splice. So we can electrical tape it, or we can heat shrink it, throw some heat shrink on it, or we can solder it and tape it. Like I said, if you have electrical tape, I advise that you actually put a zip tie on it. So we went over the regular connection with the zip tie and electrical tape, the military splice. We can, I guess I'll go ahead and tape that one up too. 
Yeah, I'll be mindful. Just don't worry about my camera. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty long video. I'm just going to throw it up raw. I'm not going to do any edits. So if I mess up on my words, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, we can take that up. We can throw a zip tie on it if we want to. Or we can heat shrink it, whatever you guys want. Um, next, <clears throat> we can actually just cut these. So I'm not going to use those anymore. Boom. And uh, so next up. Another way that you can do it, you can use just some regular uh, wire strippers. These right here, you can get these at Harbor Freight. Um, I'm gonna post some links uh, down in the description for you guys to get these type of tools, but you can get these things at Harbor Freight for like three, four bucks. And one thing that you can do is you'll have your wire. You can come right here, right in the middle, of your uh where it's supposed to cut at or strip at and we want to come down very lightly right to where you feel it break the wire and then you want to do this kind of maneuver and then we want to come a little further down do the same thing right where you break that wire and do that little maneuver just to make sure i like to do this little deal because i want to make sure that i actually pinch the uh insulation and now I put my thumb on here for some leverage or pressure, whatever you want to call it, and see I just strip back my wire again. Now, you can always do this and just strip back the wire just like that, but when you're inside the car, a lot of times you don't just have this end of the wire that's free. This wire is gonna be going to something. So with this going somewhere in the dash and this going somewhere else and all you have is the wire, sometimes if you're just to like press down on this part right here and then press it back, you'll probably end up breaking the wire. So that's why we wanna press down just to where we break the insulation, jiggle it a little bit, and you'll have to you kind of go by touch with this type of deal. And then you'll pull forward with your thumb and then that'll break it. Now, the next time, next thing we can do, a lot of people like to use their uh, their climb pliers for this. It's a little heavy for me. Now, I can still do it with that because I've done this for a while, but I'd rather just uh, use these uh, lightweight grooves because I can actually feel it break the wire a lot better with this. Now, uh, the last thing that we can do is we can use our box cutter. We can use our knife. Now, the easiest way to do this, I still like to do this part. Crimp it down right here. And then I'll crimp it down right there. Try not to cut the wire. And then I'll come in with my box cutter and I'll actually put it down. And right where I crimped at, I will cut right along that section. Now, when you cut along that section, we should be able to peel this part off. Boom, just like that. So now, and the reason that this is gonna come off so easily is because we did our small little crimp over here or our small little cut over here. We did another little cut over here and we just peeled it back. Now it doesn't look the prettiest, but at the same time, the object is to get that wire down. Now, when you're using this, if you have any wires that's frayed out, when you come back and you twist your wire around it, we're probably gonna have to go ahead and solder this connection. So, like I said, if you're gonna solder it, whether you do a military splice or this little, just, just a little wrap around, it doesn't really matter because once we solder it, we're gonna get that same connection that we got. It's gonna be good as new. Tape it up and then we're done. So other than that, man, that's the ways that I usually tap into all my wires. I hope you guys found some value in this video. I don't wanna make it too long, but I did wanna make it kinda of informative for you guys who ask those questions. How do I tap into stuff? I use my electrical tape, my zip ties, my box cutter, my uh, little cheap strippers that you can buy from Harbor Freight for like three bucks or a good pair of Klein wire strippers. You can get all this stuff off of Amazon. I'll post some leaks up for you guys. A nice little pick tool to poke the hole through the military splice. Other than that, man, this is getting kind of long, but if you guys find any value in this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next how-to. Peace.